for all events, including sporting events. And we're talking all-star game because that's what's coming up next. We're bringing Aaron into the studio here. Thanks for joining us live. Moving on over to Studio 2. Aaron, tell us about what is going on with these tickets. Well, we're, we're geared up for the all-star game, and um, we've already locked in our prices, but we're seeing them creep up and up and up. We're joking around. We're saying, hey, we could we could uh, double our – we could get a profit out of this if we sold our tickets. Of course, we don't want to do that because we're going to the all-star game. But let's talk about the 2022 all-star game. What was the most expensive ticket for the 2022 all-star game? Maybe we're headed there this year. Um, I'm going to say it was about $17,000. That is correct. Rounded to the nearest thousand. That's, that is right in the money. $17,000 uh, to get yourself an All-Star Game ticket in Dodger Stadium last year. Yeah, well, in these ri rising wild prices where, you know, they're released at a certain price, and then the resale value goes through the roof as people are wanting access to these tickets. This reminds me of the most expensive MLB ticket ever sold, which was a to a um, a World Series game within the last ten years. Do you remember hmm. what what year that was? You know, I don't. But the the thing I'm thinking about though is I'm thinking 2020. Nobody could go to a game all year. They finally open up the playoffs to limited capacity, including the World Series at Globe Life Park in, in Texas. So I'm thinking limited capacity. Those tickets had to be a hot ticket item. We had Dodgers in the series. So that's what I'm saying. I'm saying 2020. Uh, th that's not correct. Actually, it was 2016 Game 7 Cubs and Guardians. Um, the... That the most expensive ticket ever went for $1.17 million. Which makes a ton of sense. You're talking about the Cubs breaking the curse. Yeah. I mean, absolutely makes a ton of sense. What was I, what am I thinking over here? Yeah. What are we doing? Well, uh, folks, one of the things, if you're, if you're thinking, well, you know, maybe I won't spend my money on a baseball game. I'll go do something else. Well, let me tell you what, folks. Prices are astronomical everywhere. One of one such event is uh, Lionel Messi, one of the uh, you know most one of the most famous soccer players ever. He has uh, reportedly signed with uh, the Miami FC of the MLS, and um, ticket prices are absolutely going through the roof. We're talking twenty six hundred dollars on what's normally a nineteen or twenty dollar ticket, Adam. But there's a quirk to this here. So can you tell me, or do you know, are you aware? What is the quirk here with these tickets for the Miami FC? Well, I don't know exactly, but I'm guessing it's that the dates for the season haven't been released. So people are buying tickets and buying access to tickets. They don't even know if they can go to the game. Well, you're on the right track. It's not quite right. The, the um, schedule is out. What is unknown at this point is when exactly will Messi play? So people are buying $2,600 tickets, not even knowing whether Messi is actually going to make an appearance in that particular game or not. So that, that's what's going on here. And that is, uh, that is quirky. I wouldn't ever do that, but you know, I'm not a Messi guy either. Yeah, that's, that's wild. The people are, they don't even know. Well, so the, the ticket prices, as you can see here on the screen, they don't apply just to sports, to music as well. We've got artist Taylor Swift. We've got um, Coldplay, where prices are going through the roof based on resale values. Mm -hmm. But we're going to keep it in the sports realm. Aaron, in 2023, can you name just one of the top 10 sporting events where the resale value has far outpaced the original ticket value well i'm thinking the, the one of the most viewed events every single year is the super bowl i feel like we're going top 10 it's got to be in the top 10 doesn't it the super bowl is not you got to think about global appeal here um and so number one was the wimbledon men's final the mm. resale ticket value 
2,000%, actually 2,200% more than the original ticket value. That is bonkers. People are, you know, paying way more than they should be for these yeah, tickets. Yeah, sure. Well, take a look at the scoreboard, folks. After just a second inning here, I'm up two to nothing. I'm off to a good start, but there's a lot of game left this week. And uh, Aaron, bring us home. Well, we want to say thanks to everybody for joining us. Join us for this news day. We got more new stuff coming at you tomorrow. It's going to be wild and wacky. You don't have to doubt what that's all about tomorrow. So thanks for sticking with us. We'll be right back at it tomorrow.